Hi everybody and welcome to another HMW art video. So today as you can see I am doing a real client video so of me doing bridal henna on a real client. This is the second time I've done that but the difference is that the first time I did it I was doing bridal henna on a client who just liked bridal henna so she wasn't a bride. The difference is that this time I'm doing bridal henna on an actual bride and if you wait till the end of the video you'll get to see pictures or rather video footage of her on the day looking very beautiful and with the henna of course the final stain for that particular day I, I obviously don't know what the stain looks like afterwards because uh, I can't really disrupt a bride to find out what it looks like when she's you know already married but moving on to the actual design I did want this to be a tutorial but unfortunately trying to angle the camera to make sure that I capture everything when I'm working on an actual person other than me is actually quite difficult. I didn't think it would be that difficult but it is. So unfortunately in the video clip a lot of the times or sometimes bits will be cut out on the design which you can't see and unfortunately that does mean that this can't be a tutorial because in a tutorial you should be able to see every part of the design. If you guys want to though I can retape this design on my own hand as a tutorial so you can see every part of it. But if not, I do have a shot at the end of the video of the design when I originally did it on my hand, I think a few months ago, because this isn't a new design, but I also hadn't taped it for YouTube, so it's a new design for you guys. You will be able to see a close-up shot of, of this design if you do want to recreate it yourself, so you will be able to see every part of the design. But anyway, moving on to the actual design, the style is called Golf Henna, and I tried really hard to find anything, any explanation of what golf henna is, but ultimately the most information that I could find is that golf henna is made up of using these very pretty flowers that you can see me doing and very big swirls and very big dots and very big leaves. It's just a design that has very big features in it. So you've seen in the past that I do henna designs with a lot of intricate detail, with a lot of small detail. Golf henna is a little bit different because it incorporates very thick design elements. For me, I found this super interesting to learn how to do and I think it looks absolutely stunning on the hand. So much so that I ended up using this particular style in several designs afterwards. So if you remember in the past, I did a doodle for you guys on YouTube where I also explained how to use paint acrylic cones for canvas pieces and that design was a golf henna design and it was very much so inspired by this henna design. The golf henna style is probably one of my favorites right now. I will get bored of it eventually because that's just the way I work. I do things, I get really excited and then I get bored and I move on, which is why I couldn't keep this channel as purely a henna channel because I will get bored of doing henna over and over again. So anyway, there's not really much that I can say about the design itself because it's not a tutorial. But I will talk a little bit about my experience of doing bridal henna on a real bride because here's the thing, this is the first time I have done bridal henna on a real bride and for me it was a very nerve-wracking experience when I first started to do the henna on her because I have very rarely done a full arm design on anybody. I found it quite difficult to position myself in a way where it was comfortable for me to do the design on her and I felt that in the beginning I was going very slowly and I made a lot more mistakes than I would have anticipated I would make and I had to wipe it off with a cotton bud quite a lot. So from this experience I can say that I did learn that I have to learn how to position myself to do henna on another person. The other thing that I learned is that although I tried very hard to keep both hands symmetrical to each other, naturally because I did one hand after the other, they were not symmetrical. And looking at a couple of Instagram feeds of people who do bridal henna pretty much on a weekly basis, what I notice is that when they're doing bridal henna, they tend to do both arms at the same time. So they'll do a little bit of the design on one arm and then they'll do the same design on the other arm. And because they are using this method, it ends up that both arms are very symmetrical to each other. So I'm thinking that next time I'll probably try that approach rather than doing one full arm and then doing the other. 
The other thing that I learned is more about being realistic in your expectations of a bride because when I do henna designs on myself, I always make an effort to keep the henna design on me for at least eight hours because I don't stain well. So if I don't do it for that long, I'm just not going to get a very good stain. But doing bridal henna on a bride, the one thing I notice is how busy the bride is. I mean, I knew they were going to be busy, but I just didn't expect them to be that busy. And as a result, she couldn't keep the design on for a full eight hours, but she did keep it on for the bare minimum, which I had asked her to do, which is four hours. And whenever I hear that a person has kept a henna design on for a bare minimum amount of time, I always get really worried. I always get really worried that they're not going to stain, but honestly, I shouldn't because four hours is sufficient. And you can see with the end shots that she did stain and actually the stain was darker it's just that my camera didn't pick it up very well but the stain was actually a pretty decent stain considering that she only kept it on for four hours so I think I really need to stop worrying about stuff like that because I did spend a whole day thinking oh my god is she gonna stain is she gonna stain is she gonna stain but she did so it was okay but anyway as this design is not a tutorial I thought I'd talk a little bit about the experience that I had while doing this bridal henna on a bride so it's sort of like a vlog slash fit well I don't know what it is it's just a video I guess for you guys to watch and also I'm a little bit rushed in doing this video so the voiceover maybe doesn't have as much detail or useful information as I might usually put in or hopefully I usually put in I'm really sorry about that it's just that last week doing the bride's henna and then being there on the wedding day taping everything it kind of got a little bit out of hand for me and my timetable just went down the drain but I hope you guys did enjoy the video as an insight into what it's like to be a bridal henna artist or at least a brand new bridal henna artist. Thank you guys as always for watching. Thank you for everyone joining me. Just thank you all for just being here and I will see you next time.